Hello again. Now with the patio project behind me, it's time to turn my focus towards building the shed. This has been a long process, making little steps to get uh, closer and closer to turning my two car garage into a workshop, into a makerspace. The patio was step number one in that process. And step number two is to build a shed on this pad. So patio's done. It's returning to some semblance of normalcy after the wedding. And now it's time to clear off this 12 by 16 pad and we're gonna build a shed on it. Now, I'm cheating a little bit. After this large patio project, I decided to hire a shed builder. I'm very anxious to get my garage put together, my wood shop put together, and this will speed up the process greatly. I'm typically working by myself and it takes a long time to put these large construction projects together. And now it's gotten cold here in North Georgia, so the guys will be here soon to build my shed. Just need to clear it off, clean up the slab a little bit, and get it ready for them. Holy junk piles. It's almost like I need a shed or something to store all this stuff. Who collects landscape rocks? So heavy. Well, the first pile of parts for the shed have shown up. They got delivered a few days early before the crew is gonna get here to install them. And I'm going to go ahead and paint a few pieces of the siding because what's going on here is we poured this slab for the shed awfully close to this fence. So I'm not gonna have a whole lot of room between the shed and fence to paint the back wall of this shed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple coats of paint on this siding before it goes up. The siding being used here is not T111. It is LP Smart Side. I was advised to use that rather than T111. I was trying to save a few dollars and thinking T111 was the least expensive. This is the same price to me, and this stuff finishes great. If you've ever used any of those sketchy plywood products, ply bead or T111, this stuff, the tongue and groove is cut right, and it's easy to finish. Okay, who did I choose to build my shed? Drum roll, please. I chose Storage Sheds of Atlanta in an effort to support local businesses and promote those that do a good job. I really wanted to show off these guys. They did such a fantastic job for me. This is a real shed. It's not one of these delivered inferior two by three built shed with six foot walls. This is a real two by four shed with full height walls. Studs are 16 inch on the center. The company communicates very well. They're economically priced. It's a la carte. You can add or take away options that you want or don't want. They're fantastic to work with. If you're a fan of DIY and learning and watching how things go together, probably are if you're watching a video like this. Watching these crew work was just a delight. When I tell you it's a, a well choreographed production, it's an understatement. These guys, and you'll see the timestamps throughout the video, but got there at 7.30 in the morning, unpacked, inventoried the materials, laid it out where they needed, set up a workstation, and immediately started building walls. Watching this crew of seven or eight people build this shed in like five and a half hours, this thing would have taken me months. So, so the price versus me building it just in time savings alone is so worth it. They were in and out in half a day. And as I discovered in post-production, apparently the guys had a good time being on camera and on my job site. At least it looked like they were having fun. I mean, obviously the video is edited and sped up for presentation purposes, but they really were that fast. If you had to take time off the of work to be home for these guys, you wouldn't be off half a day. It wouldn't take much time at all. I mean, I guess it depends on what they're building for you, but they're in and out really fast. And I understand they build a variety of things, not just sheds. <laughs> Check that out. They've been here an hour and a half at five minutes to nine, and they're almost done building the walls. But as fast as they were and as dedicated as they were to getting it right quickly, they still took the time 
to set that back wall aside for me and let me come back and put paint over the nail heads and touch up the trim before they stood that wall up. Super fun, super easy to deal with, economically priced, and a la carte, totally customizable menu. You can add doors, take away windows, do whatever you want with the shed, and they'll price it out accordingly. And as you'll see here in a few seconds, by one o'clock in the afternoon, they had all of the trash picked up, all of their tools packed up, and by 1.10, they were completely gone. Job complete. Anyway, enough said. I think they did a really good job, and I would certainly use them again if I had the opportunity. Probably will have them build a detached garage at my next residence, whenever that happens. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, leave a comment, question, or compliment below. Love to hear from you. And look forward to showing you more wood shop videos in the future as I continue to get my two car garage prepared to be a makerspace. Thanks for watching. <laughs>